Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Combat Mission Shock Force. I'm gonna shock the force right out of these Syrians. When we last left off, we cleared this road. And by cleared, I mean we filled it with bodies. We blew up a lot of tanks. All these tanks. And all we lost was that mobile gun system to an RPG from God knows where. Oh, and uh... That striker in the back is a little bit immobilized. Just a little. He lost, like, he has, like, a flat tire or something. It'll be fine. Um, we're calling in a large artillery strike on this building. It's going to explode. Or more specifically, I'm going to put explosions inside of it. It's like... I don't know. It's like something where you put other things inside of it. Also, I almost forgot. We we'll need to put explosions inside this house, too. Preferably tank explosions. We're not like exploding tanks, but tanks with explosions coming out of them. It's an explosive burst of explosions. Striker platoon about to push up after three minutes of intensive barrages. We'll see if we manage to dislodge the Syrians from their, I guess, quarters, or if they're even there at all. Remember, if we don't find any bodies, it doesn't mean they weren't there. It just means our artillery was extra effective. It's like icing on the cake. Caramelized. Anyway. Shot, over. Shot, out. Fire for effect. Over. Roger. Fire for effect. I honestly thought it would be heavier. How are we looking on that artillery, Chief? Five minutes, two minutes? Got it. Well, there's no one on the roof. Alright, there's no one over there. How's our uh, fire support looking on the mortar? One minute. Alright, got that. That should clear out these trenches, which should uh, pave the way for this push up to the side here. And immediately upon completion of this barrage, we'll shift our barrage towards the secondary and primary barracks. And more or less level that area. We have lots of bullets, lots of bombs. It might seem strange, but we have more of those than we have tanks. We're going to see all episode. Okay, everything about the Abram. Spotted and in seconds neutralized. God, I feel like I'm freaking Billy Mays for the US 
military or something like you got a t-55 problem that's no problem you see it bang seconds neutralized by your new mighty putty by mighty my, by mighty putty lots of mighty putty all the mighty putty by mighty putty I put that shit on everything Like, you can use it to slap anything together. An Abrams tank. Contact resistance stuff. Actually, with all these mortars, I can probably shove my tank all the way up here. And, like, kind of introduce myself to the graves of those who have slaughtered. Are they still firing? There are some big shells. End of mission. Out. Oh. Is there another tank back there? Are they pouring tanks in here? Trying to reinforce their line? It's not gonna work. I have Abrams. Abrams demands blood. Hail Abrams, god of thunder. So yes, mission over. I wonder if I adjust that mission. Can I adjust that mission? On your target. Just fire. Over. Shouldn't be too incredibly hard. Half track. Drag him up here. And grab the third one. Pop him right there. Alrighty, infantry. You all are going to salt your way to the wall. I find that assault moves are the best for disembarking and hostile territory because some of the guys stay put immediately upon getting out but they also move to cover quickly so if you start taking fire you'll return fire but if you're not taking fire you can also move up I think that works at least and everyone over here should be more or less dead and fucking only need two Abrams to win anyway so yeah Let's get in there. Also, I have no idea like who they would shoot at anyway, so just keep your eyes open, gents. If you see a lot of twinkles, shoot the twinkles. Hmm. Should sawed off right quick. Or at least move towards the back. There's a fucking tank there. What do you mean there's a tank there?
Northwest Fire Mission Tower. Yeah, no, Fire Mission's over, dude. Let's, um... Hang on, you. This is check fire, check fire, check fire! Fire Mission's trying to get a bit wonky in my mind. Also, you turn and face the thing. Hit the Syrian army like a can opener with a bad attitude. The next two minutes will determine exactly how bad our attitude will be. Because I'd like to be a can opener with a happy attitude. A can opener with a good attitude, I mean. Not a can happener. Can happener. Holy shit. Other RPG. <laughs> Check fire, end of it. Okay, so there's a lot of force right there. Shoot her! Or him, or whoever, to shoot fire onto the area. See what I mean? that target. 12 point. You engage. No, back up. You just back up. Okay. That is not a quick move order. This will also be a quick move order to right there. Rather damaged. Hmm. Leaves this gent as my best hope. A close armor support. Which I want a lot of inside this, um. This little uh, open area in the middle. I don't exactly like it. It's too flat, too open. I think we can win a firefight. Come on, come on, come on.
Alright, well great. You guys can come join the party over here. Gents. Everyone stand up and run around all at the same time. I really feel like air support should be part of our deal. I can attack Chopper and just make short work of all this bullshit. That guy. Did you get him? Bunch of Syrians engaging us. Watch out, enemy vehicle. What's going on over there in the backfield? More tanks popping into existence. Every turn, every tank. I guess so. Seems to be all the rage nowadays. People are frolicking through the halls, by the way. Over This area. It's not very covered though. Not particularly fancy it. In fact, the only real safe place I feel is over here. And down. Oh good. Here comes the tank. to move in here. You gents can hold it and then we'll clear it room by room. Good old fashioned way. Guns, grenades, jump shot. God damn it! Look around the fucking Watch out! Enemy in the tree! Oh, hey, see? I told you there's a little bit. Finally hit something. There we go. Finally close enough to make a difference. Oh 
Oh, yes, you're free to throw an explosive shell directly in there. I'm glad you got an idea on that, Jets. I was worried you didn't know who it was. There are no trees on this map. to deal with... No? Come here. Then your target. Looks like there's targets from here to here. Two heavy, medium, general, immediate Request confirm. fire mission, over. Now well, you, a linear target. From here to here. Two heavy, medium, general. Over. And in five minutes, we will push like a motherfucker. We'll bring these gents up as a reserve in about two. Once we've made sure that the approaches are clear. So they're acting without the um, platoon leader. I suppose it's under the command of the, uh, I don't know, I guess individual sergeants. He was telling me to clear it out. Artillery support? What gods did we praise to get this? Medium, short, general, medium. Request fire mission, over. First of all, first of all, damn, do we poke a hole all the way to the sky in the thing? Okay, so we knocked the roof off, but we also knocked off like, the entire interior. Got it. Even though the interior is still there, so it's just weird. Okay, I can understand that. Alright, so we've lost two Abrams, effectively. I'm just really hating the kind of clearing operations we're having to do here. Mostly because I suck at house-to-house -house combat. In, inside this game.
so being immobilized should be really too hard for us to fix. So this was a rather boring one. We just kind of entered the house and didn't do much. But honestly, we're hemorrhaging tanks, and these Syrians are being annoying as hell. We haven't lost many men, but we have lost a hell of a lot of equipment. Though compared to the Syrians' losses, it's fairly minimal. Especially in the same fact they're trying to keep looks like an armored. Through the back here, and every time they show up, we just kind of knock them out slowly collecting Syrian tanks. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode, where hopefully we crack this deadlock that we've met with the Syrians. Uh, till then, I've been your Commander Tomato. Good day. <laughs>